Hi everybody and welcome back to That's Football. We're ranking all the away kits in the Premier League for this season. We've done the home kit, you can check that on the home page, but the away kits really should be better because you're not confined by your traditional home colours. So we should get some banging away kits. Wolves at the bottom, Watford at the top for home kits. How are they going to do accumulatively in this? Also, I am on FIFA uh, career mode still. It's on Twitch. Links in the video description. I'll be live there this afternoon. So make sure you check out that if you're missing the FIFA career mode stuff. It's on Twitch. Link in the video description. I've also got a big announcement on my personal channel. I've dropped the link in the video description for you there as well. But let's get on with the show. Right. Let's. We've got 19 kits. There is one kit that misses out, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. But we've got the top. 19 away kits in the Premier League. There is one to miss out. This is West Ham's third kit, uh, which we'll address in a moment because bottom, bottom, number 19, Aston Villa. I don't want to kick Villa when they're down. Grealish has left, but that away kit is not... An, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think much of the home kit. I don't think much of the away kit. I don't know what's gone wrong with Villa kits uh, this season, but they ain't great. I don't like it. Um, yeah. Um, it just doesn't do anything. It's just, it's just very simple. And I think you want a little bit more in an away kit. It's, as I said, with the away kit, it's an opportunity to 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 get creative. And, and, and I think a lot of kits have. And Villa, look, it might be hard to get in the top 10, but not that's never getting in the top 10. Now, West Ham away kit as well, second from bottom. Uh, obviously, we're doing 19 kits, so 19 for Villa, 18th place for uh, West Ham. That, to me, I just don't know what's going on. It's got claret on a light blue and white. It just doesn't work. Um, you know, when I think about that, that kit, I think of a nurse. I think of NHS. And that's a good thing, the NHS. But uh, I don't like claret on a light blue and white. Um, just doesn't work. That, uh, it doesn't work. Um yeah, I don't know what they've gone with there. They've tried to... I mean, away kit. It's an away kit. You don't need claret and you don't need light blue. That's on your own home kit. So, uh, yeah, not feeling that. The third kit for West Ham, much better. That should be your away kit, not your, not your third kit. Home kit, rubbish. 18th place. Brentford. I uh, got a bit of stick for putting Brentford's home kit in the top 10. I think it got 10th place. Um, some people didn't like that. There's nothing wrong with that Brentford kit, by the way. I don't mind it. As far as yellow goes, it's not terrible. I don't I don't mind their sponsor. It's simple. Um, it's an okay away kit. But I, I think you're going to see there's some fantastic away kits. So unfortunately for, uh, for Brentford, um, it's a 17th place for you there. Brighton away kit. Aqua. Aqua. It's like a pound land man city kit. And that did, didn't did do well with me. I've told you, these bottom of a swimming pool feelings of Aqua are not going to do it with me this year. I don't like it. That kit needs a brick wrapping around it and throwing into a swimming pool because it lives at the bottom of a swimming pool because that's what it looks like. It's Aqua. I don't like it. And uh, therefore, you are not getting a very high place for me. That would be, is that 17th for them? No, 16th. 16th place for Brent uh, for Brighton's away kit. And 15th place for another Aqua entry. I don't know what's going on. I'm expecting somebody to sing Barbie Girl, if you know, you know. Aqua again, 15th place for Leicester. I don't, the only thing that makes it better than the Brighton one is it's got a bit of a pattern on it. It's still Aqua. It's not a bad kit. I think um, Leicester's kits with Adidas look a little bit better, but I'm not feeling the Aqua. I don't like it. Um, not No good. 14th place for Chelsea. Disappointing for Chelsea. This Sky Slow Sports Kit Sports News. Breaking Kit Sports News. 14th place for Chelsea. Both kits not in the top 10. Surprising breaking news there. Jim White, yellow tie, yellow kit, get in the bin. So, uh, yeah, I'm not liking the Chelsea kit. Um, it's okay. It's better than the Brentford yellow kit. It's quite simplistic, but I expect I expect better from Chelsea. 14th place. It might be a grower, but I think there are better kits than that that we're going to see. 13th place for Norwich. Well, you're going to call me a hypocrite because there's aqua on it. And I tell you what... 13th place for, for Norwich. Unlucky 13 for Norwich because that kit could have been lit. That is so close to being a lit kit. If you take the Acre away and you change it with silver, get it in your head, or even gold, get it in your head, that kit looks lit. If that was gold, if that Lotus thing was gold and there everything else was gold, or even yellow, even a yellow, it would look so good. The Acre looks crap. I mean, it's, it's an okay kit. It gets 12th. I'm not saying this is worse than Brighton or Leicester. It's, but it's so close to being a very nice kit, that. 
and they've gone with the aqua. And they should have gone with yellow or gold or silver, in my opinion. If you can see it, you can see it. Uh, 12th place for them. Uh, no, 13th place for them. 12th place for Arsenal. Arsenal in 12th. Um, not a bad kit. Look, there's a lot of people going to moan about this, but I think it looks like a bowl of porridge. Um, that's my problem with that colour. Uh, it's a nice kit again. I'm saying nice a lot, but the, the design is good. I like the red. On the, you know, if it was just blackened porridge, I don't, I wouldn't like it as much. But I like the bits of red on there. Um, again, it's competitive in the away kit arena. I don't mind that. It's a bit beige, and beige to me is a bit boring. Um, so look, there'll be a lot of people saying it's a brilliant kit, and I think it is. It is a good kit, but for me, there are better kits. So it's twelfth place for Arsenal, who came second in the home kit. So they can't be unhappy with that. Uh, Liverpool, a bit better for them, eleventh place. I mean, realistically, what it. <sighs> To be honest with you, I think the Arsenal kit's nicer. I think I've been a bit generous there with the Liverpool one, putting them in 11th and Arsenal in 12th. I think the Liverpool kit is not as good as the Arsenal kit. Um, I just thought the Arsenal, the Liverpool kit was a little bit cleaner. Um, it's not that beigey colour. Um, but again, it, it, it's not fantastic. It, it, it isn't. It, it, it's clean. It's 11th place. We move on. Into the top 10. Leads away. Look, that kit to me, I like it. I like the pattern, I like the colour, I like the simplicity of it. It's never going to break headlines, it's never going to be top five, but as away kits go, I think that's not too bad a kit for Leeds. Tenth place, about right. Controversy now, ninth place for Tottenham. Now, some would say this should be top, Tottenham. Some say it should be bottom. I've put it in at ninth because I can't make my mind up about this kit. I think when we see Spurs playing in it, it will probably be a grower or it will be uh, a shrinker. It's either going to get you excited or it's not. I put it in at ninth place because I just can't decide whether I absolutely hate it or I actually quite like it. Um, the question is, will Harry Kane be wearing it? So it's in at ninth place. Make your, own, make your own minds up. I've put it in the middle. There we go. Eighth place, Crystal Palace. Again, I'm impressed. I think Puma are probably the kings of the kits. The Puma King. They are the kings of the kits uh, this season. I really do like this kit again. If you imagine that didn't have the blue and the red on it, I still think it's an okay kit. But with the blue and the red on there, and then the yellow is a vibrant yellow. It's almost a gold yellow. I just think they've nailed the brief again. I think that's a very nice kit for Crystal Palace. And it's eighth place for me. Very, very good. Seventh place, Southampton. I mean, probably the issue with that kit is the sponsor. It's a little bit too red. If you had a really uh, minimalist sponsor on there, I think that kit goes up a level, but I like the black and the red. I don't know whether you think if that, that sponsor was gold, would it would it just do something a little bit to it? Yeah. So seventh was it seventh place for them or was it I think it's I think it is seventh, ninth, eighth, seventh place for Spur uh, for Southampton. Um I like the black and red. It's just the sponsor that just stops it from being at the next level, if you know what I mean. So sixth place for Everton and again similarities with Everton and Southampton. Similar colours, I just think Everton get it right. More black, less red. And uh, it's a nice kit. And look, you know, you could mark them down because they've got the same sponsor as Villa, but that is uh, an example of how you do something a little bit creative with, uh, you know, black kits are definitely the kits to go for. I think that I think that Norwich kit, I can't believe they, 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 they were so close with that Norwich kit to having an amazing kit and they went with Aqua. Um, Everton, thank God they haven't gone with Aqua. They've gone with the red stripe across there. And, and I think I like the way that the red stripe encompasses the black Everton sign. To me, that works really, really well. So I am going to give it uh, sixth place, Everton. Not quite top five, but nearly there. Um, into fifth place. They'll be very happy with this, Watford. They'll be very happy with this. And I think this might be a controversial fifth place. I've gone with Watford in fifth. Now, people are going to say, what? Watford, what are you doing? But I like it. I know. I, I just like it. And, and and that's what it's all about. It's opinion, isn't it? I like the Watford kit. They finished second bottom with the home kit, where they looked like a bumblebee that had been run over by a tractor. But with that, there's just something I quite like about it. And I, I know people are going to hate it. They're going to go, what are you talking about? But I do. I do quite like that kit, and I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Fifth place for me, Watford. I've probably baffled you. But uh, they've, they've made fifth place. Now, if I've got this right, yes, I have got it right. So... Manchester United away into fourth. Now, I'm going to be honest here. That is a nice kit. It is a nice away kit. Um, but if you're old like me, 
We had a kit in 92 that was the original deal. This is a Poundland version of the 92 kit. And for that reason, I can't rank it any higher than fourth. It is good. It's way better than the home kit. It's got a good design on it. So fourth place for, for Manchester United. But if you remember the 92 kit, this is just a Poundland version of that. A, a little glimpse at the Man United third kit, by the way. That's looking good. I'm looking, I'm liking that. I wish that was our away kit and not that. I think that's a better away kit. But it's fourth place for United. Above them, and maybe they will be above them in real life, Man City get third place. Now, controversial or not, but I think it's Puma again. I just think they've taken a white kit and given it little bits. And what I like about uh, the Puma kits this year with Palace and Man City is that whoever's designing them, they've just they've, they've, they've hit the brief again. You know, not too much, not too little. It's just right. And I, I like it. So it's a third. Uh, I always think of Kevin De Bruyne. Would Kevin De Bruyne look good, good in that kit? And I think he would. So it's third place for Manchester City, which leaves the top two. Now, probably an early favourite, but second place for the Newcastle kit. I like that Newcastle kit. If anything, it's the collar. What have they done with the collar? If they didn't have that white collar on it, and they'd just gone with whatever's going on underneath it with a bit of gold and had a V-neck, I think they've won. I think they've, I think they I think Newcastle have won the race and lost it with the white flag of surrender in second place. I don't like the white collar. I don't like that white collar. They've lost because of the white collar. That is a really good kit. It's got the gold, it's got this black again, it's got the gold, it looks like a New Zealand sort of kit. And they've ruined it with the white collar. I don't know why they've done that. I don't know why. And uh, they've just, just missed out. Just missed out. So who gets number one? We're left with Wolves and Burnley. Um, remember I said one kit wasn't here. I can tell you that the Burnley away kit's not here. So the winner, in my mind, is Wolves. Wolves win it. And I think, you know, ultimately it was between these two. And for me... That removal of the white on the Newcastle kit would have had them in first place. The putting of the white collar ruined it, so I went with Wolves. Bottom on home kits, top on away kits. Wolves are my favourites. And again, I just like the fact that it's uh, you know it's got a little bit more vibrancy in relation to the pattern behind. Um, this is where Wolves' sort of orangey gold colour works really, really well. And um, yeah, they, they've done very, very well with that kit. I do like it. And Wolves, interestingly enough for Wolves, they were bottom, uh, weren't they? They were bottom with the home kit, but they are top with away kits. Now, I'd be very interested to see what all you have got to say. I just want to shout out this kit finally. That kit could have won. I think Lotus is an absolutely... That's my favourite sponsor, Lotus. And I just think if Norwich's away kit had not had Aqua and had gone with what Wolves have got, that you know, or even what Newcastle have got. Imagine that gold instead of the aqua. That would have been the kit for me. That, that would have done it. So Norwich, mid-table, but you could have been the best. Uh, anyway, big up to Wolves. Thanks everyone for watching. Smash a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. Remember, check the links in the video description. I've got my Twitch page for FIFA career mode. You can watch there. And a big, big announcement on my channel. I've dropped the link in there. So check the links in the video description. Make sure you smash a like and subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon.